Ready, Carl? Yes. At this time, I ask everybody to please turn all electronic devices to vibrate, all electronic devices to vibrate. Madam Majority Leader. Good afternoon and welcome to the stated meeting of June 30th, 2020. I am Majority Leader Lori Cumbo, and it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you to this virtual meeting of the New York City Council. If you would like to follow along, the agenda for today's meeting is posted on our website. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Says for all. Roll call. Adams. Present. Ampri Samuel. Present. Ayala. Present. Barron. Blessed, radical, and present. Morelli. Less normal and present. Brannon. Present. Cabrera. Present. Chin. Present. Cohen. Constantinides. Carnegie. Deutsch. Here. Diaz. Present. Drum. Here. Eugene. Gibson. Present. Jonai. Present. Gradenchik. Still here. Holden. Here. Thank you. Kalos. Here. King. Present. Ku. Present. Kozlowitz. Present. Lanceman. Present. Lander. Still not at all sure where these Zoom meetings actually are taking place, but wherever it is, I'm here. Levin. Present. Levine. Present. Lewis. Present. Mizell. Here. Menchaca. Present. Miller. Moya. Present. Perkins. Present. Powers. Present. Reynoso. Present. Richards. Present. Rivera. Present. Rodriguez. Committed to vote later on for the anti-racist budget. Presente. Rose. Present. Rosenthal. Here. Salamanca. Present. Torres. Present. Traeger. Here. Ulrich. Present. Valone. Here. Van Bramer. Here. Jaeger. Here. Matteo. Here. Cumbo. Present. Speaker Johnson. I'm here. 
Madam Majority Leader, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. And we will now have today's invocation, which will be delivered by the Reverend Dr. Robert M. Waterman, the Administrative Bishop and Spiritual Leader at Antioch Baptist Church, located at 828 Green Avenue in the heart of Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. Is the pastor there? You have to unmute yourself, Reverend Waterman. Oh, yes. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, once again, we just want to thank all of you for the work that you have been doing for our community. Uh, let us pray. Our eternal everlasting Father in heaven, some call you Supreme God and others call you Elohim, Jehovah, and others Allah. It is our request that you would bless this council. We desire that the divine presence would be here with us today. Among other things, oh God, you are the creator of the human mind, which you model in some fashion after your own great mind. Though we acknowledge that your thoughts are infinitely higher and more profound than ours, we glory in the notion that we may, on our own level, think some of our thoughts after you in this place. Father, we thank you for the precious gift of knowledge and discovery. May our efforts be blessed with insight, guided by understanding, and grant us wisdom. We seek to serve uh, with respect to all. Though we are still in the middle of various pandemics, we still recognize that you are still in control. May our personal faith give us strength to act honestly and well in all matters before us. Bless today with chance of growth, with friendship and sense of community, with work to do and the leisure to enjoy. Let us be a positive influence on those we meet. May we act with integrity and truth in all things, giving the very best of ourselves in all that we do, living in appreciation of your gift today. I ask on behalf of those who are gathered here today that you would bless us. Give us the grace that makes a difference for the good, wherever that we may find ourselves in years ahead. And now may you be pleased with what is done here today. Thank you for your presence. In the name above all other names, I pray in Jesus' name according to my faith. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Waterman. I'd now like to ask Council Member Robert Cornegie to spread the invocation on the record. Good afternoon and thank you, Madam Majority Leader. <clears throat> Dr. Robert M. Waterman is a graduate of Drew University where he obtained his doctoral degree, New York the Theological Seminary, Master of Divinity, a bachelor's degree from Hunter College, political science degree and associate's degree in public administration from Eugenia Maria de Hostos Community yeah. College of City, City of New York. A recipient of the Bell Zeller Scholar and New York University Scholarship, all-American academic team dean's list, college scholarship talent roster, and Phi Theta Kappa, a life member of NAACP, and dare I say it, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, which we still do not hold against him. Dr. Robert M. Waterman has served as assistant to the vice president and dean of student affairs at Mega Evers College and conduct officer for three years. He served as the director of CUNY Service Corps in the Office of Career Management Office, where Dr. Waterman recruits students for the CUNY service corps to interview and participate in the cohort of students who will serve as ambassadors for the institution and CUNY. Students bridge the gap between the classroom and workforce. Students contribute to advancing the mission of a specific service organization and learn the value of civic engagement. Now going into his fifth year, he is serving as the career manager officer of Mega Everest Career Management Services. He served as a substitute teacher in the Department of Education for six years in District 16. Dr. Robert Waterman, pastor of Antioch Baptist Church, located in the Bedford Stuyvesant area for 19 years. He worked in the engineering field for over 20 years before going into education. Dr. Waterman is actively engaged in a fight against issues such as poor education, poverty, lack of jobs, and limited health care. He serves as the president of the African American Clergy and Elected Officials Organization of Brooklyn for the last 10 years. Dr. Waterman serves as the chair of the trustee board of Interfaith Medical Center and vice chair of the trustee board of One Brooklyn Health, Interfaith Brookdale and Kingsbrook Jewish Medical Center. 
He served on community board three for over 10 years. He serves at District 16 Diversity Committee for the Department of Education in District 16. I don't know when Dr. Waterman sleeps. I'm actually tired just reading that bio. <laughs> no, but, but Dr. Waterman has uh, been of tremendous service uh, and has been a community pastor for a very long time and is the go-to person for spiritual guidance for many residents of Bedford Stuyvesant. I'd like to now have the, um, the um, have his words read into the record. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And I would also like to call on Council Member Inez Barron, who also would like to join you, Council Member Cornegie, in spreading the invocation onto the record. Council Member Barron. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. I just wanted to take this occasion to echo the comments that have already been read into the record and to just say that Pastor Waterman uh, has done so much for the community and for Medgar Evers College and for individual people as well and has made many sacrifices and we continue to thank him for the leadership that he provides and wish him and his family well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Council Member Barron as well as Council Member Cornegie. We will now go into the adoption of minutes. I move that the minutes of the last stated meeting be adopted as printed. Messages and papers from the mayor. Uh, hold on one second. Mr. Clerk, I don't have this uh, portion in my remarks, are there none? Mr. Speaker. Hold on, I got it. Uh, messages and communications uh, from the mayor, none. Mr. Speaker, part yeah. of point of parliamentary order. Uh, I believe there were no minutes to adopt from the last stated meeting, is that got correct? It. Yeah, no, no, no minutes from the last stated meeting. Uh, so strike that. Messages and communications from the mayor, none. Communication from city, county, and borough offices. Pre-considered M243, expense budget changes for fiscal year 2020. Finance. Petitions and communications. None. Land use call-ups. None. Thank you. We will now have communication from Speaker Corey Johnson. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. Our purpose together this morning is brief. This morning, the Committee on Finance met and favorably reported for our consideration two technical resolutions that are necessary to close out the fiscal year that ends today. We will meet later today to vote on the items necessary to adopt the fiscal 2021 adopted budget. But in order to give the city controller enough time to effectuate the transfers of funds necessary to close out fiscal 2020, we are voting on these two items this morning. The first resolution is an expense budget modification, which represents movements of approximately $4 billion in funding from various agencies and $1.8 billion to various city agencies to implement fiscal 2020 expense budget changes including reallocations of appropriations that were included in the fiscal 2020 budget to fund council local initiatives. The second resolution is a transparency resolution that sets forth the new designation, the designation, uh, the changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Since we'll be meeting later today, in the interest of time, I ask that members please hold their remarks on the fiscal 2021 budget until we vote on those items. Again, this is just voting on two technical changes so the controller can close out the fiscal 2020 budget year. With that, Madam Majority Leader, I turn it back to you. Thank you, Speaker Johnson. We will now move into discussion of general orders. If you wish to speak, please use the raise hand function in Zoom. Madam Majority Leader, there are no council members who wish to speak. Thank you. At this time, seeing that there are no members that wish to speak, we will have the report of special committees. None. Reports of standing committees. 
Report of the Committee on Finance, pre-considered Resolution 1352, Transparency Resolution. Coupled on general orders. Pre-considered M243 and Resolution 1353, Transfer of City Funds Between Agencies. I would ask that the clerk please take a roll call vote on all items coupled on today's general order calendar. Mr. Speaker? Yep. Uh, what would you like to do with the last items pre-considered M243? General orders. And at this, I would ask that all uh, items be voted on right now. Adam. Vote aye. And Free Samuel. Aye. Ayala. Aye. Baron. I vote aye. Borelli. I vote aye. Brannon. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. Aye. Cohen. That's member Cohen. Constantinides. Aye. Cornegy. Aye on all. Deutsch. Aye. Diaz. Aye. Drum. Aye. Eugene. Gibson. I vote aye. Jonai. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Holden. Aye. Kalos. Aye. King. I don't know. Ku. Aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Lander. Aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. I vote aye. Lewis. Aye. Mizell. Yes. Menchaca. I vote aye. Miller. Councilmember Miller. Vote aye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Moya. I vote aye. Perkins. Aye. Powers. Aye. Reynoso. I vote aye. Richards. Aye. Rivera. With many thanks to all of the organizations that quickly adapted to serving their communities, I vote aye. Rodriguez. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Time starts now. I hope that all of us who had the opportunity to serve all this that we represent the 51 realize that we are doing this modification, the last one for the 2020 at a point in time in history where we have inherited a society that unfortunately has not been focusing on closing the gap in the city of New York that this should be the last budget that we should approve that should not be focused on serving the most wealthy community. 
Speaker Johnson, all of us, we should be proud to move our budget, to move the agenda the most we can. But unless we realize that our white council member has privilege in the area that they serve in, then we will not be voting on this modification, understanding that there's a lot more that we got to do. So as we are voting today, I also hold that for the new hours, few hours, everyone here realize that George Floyd, coronavirus, show the reality on how we've been spending money in the city of New York. Black, Latino, Asian, poor has not been priority as it should be. And as we are adopting this modification today, I hope that we also can put a strong look and thought on sharing the privilege that certain districts has over the poorest one in the city of New York. With that, I vote aye. Rose. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Salamanca. I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye. Traeger. Aye. Ulrich. I vote aye. Valone. Aye at all. Van Bramer. Aye. Jaeger. With my gratitude to uh, the prior gentleman who spoke and his uh, uh, reflections on his own racism, I vote aye. Cohen. I vote aye. What? Matteo. Yes. Cumbo. I vote aye. Speaker Johnson. I vote aye. All items on today's general order calendar. A vote of 49 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Thank you so much. The items on today's general orders calendar are adopted. Introduction and reading of bills. All bills have been referred to committees as indicated on today's agenda. Thank you. There are no resolutions on today's calendar, so we'll now move into general discussion. Madam Majority Leader, no council members wish to speak. I will now call on Speaker Corey Johnson to close today's stated meeting. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. The stated meeting of June 30th, 2020 is hereby recessed until later today. Thank you all. Thank you.